Thomas Modesto Ben, David Mwanza, Crispin Stanley. I'm Zambian by nationality. A Zambian from Malawi, from Mozambique. I'm a second year novice. A second year novice. Novice, second year. And second year. I was mission to Malawi in Kasungu, sent to Zimbabwe, Makonde in particular. I was uh, missioned to Beira, Makonde in Zimbabwe. When I arrived in Malawi, I was, I was assigned to work at the school in weekdays and weekends I was working at the parish. I was teaching, I was assist, assisting maths, Bible knowledge, expressive arts. Working at a school, I was involved in the chaplains as well and I was uh, given some subjects to help uh, teaching in the school. That was heritage studies and agriculture form two. I was uh, missioned to teach catechism at the parish and was also involved in other activities such as um, uh, accompanying a certain uh, group, a Eucharistic movement at the parish. I was also teaching some students, university students, which was more like tutoring uh, in English. I was assigned to work at the school that is helping in the chaplaincy and I was given uh, two subjects to help in teaching that is commerce and agriculture. I've always had an interest in agriculture. I've always loved agriculture. I come from a, from, a fam, from a farming family. So upon arrival and being given the opportunity to choose, I thought I'll do, I'll do better in helping the kids with, with the students with, with agriculture. The women, the old women who were coming for choir, and I shared a lot uh, about my songs especially. Now the local songs that we sing here in Zambia and teaching them to, to the people of Zimbabwe, there, specifically Makonde. The difficult part which I found there was how to stand in front of the learners. It was difficult for me to get used. My first week which I started teaching in that school, I found those challenges, how to stand in front and to deliver the information to the learners. The most uh, helpful thing for me was that I had some lessons before going to Mozambique. So I was able to make out a few sentences. But indeed, I did find a challenge uh, in communicating. So for instance, with the students at uh, the parish whom I was taking in catechism, I had to use a translator. And by God's grace, she was able to communicate whatever I was communicating. But uh, being uh, an African, it so happened that uh, the people who I was teaching uh, English were conversant with uh, Chewa. So I was able to use my Nyanja to communicate some of the things that needed to be communicated. Experienced some challenges, of course. The major one being the language. I was in a typical Shona setup, so it was kind of difficult for a, for a Chewa person to, to to, to, to fit in. Despite the fact that there was not so much effective communication, especially in the first days with some students, especially the local ones who did not really understand English, but that gave me also um, a creative um, approach to them by uh, using those students who would really comprehend what I would try to communicate to them, to teach the other students who were not able to have that effective uh, communication with me. I managed to, to work with the teachers in different cultures, in different backgrounds, and I worked with the learners and they were able to understand me, whatever I was saying. And I enjoyed a lot, even if in the Society of Jesus, if you can give you opportunity to choose, I can, I can be explicit in education. We know that culture is shared, and uh, being in the Society of Jesus, which is a universal society, I get to share my culture through components of culture such as language itself. The experiment helped me to find myself, um, verify the voice of the Lord in me, find the maturity in me, and um, kind of also 
recognize the, the, the freedom I need to have as a Jesuit. It also helped me to observe and identify my pastoral abilities and also give, it gave me kind of an experience uh, in, an, in a Jesuit apostolic community, being that I've always, I've stayed for my first two years of novitiate, I've been in a, in a, in a, in a house of formation. So it gave me an exposure to, to, a, to, to an apostolic community. I like the fact that they were willing to learn and they really learned a lot, uh, especially in the songs. I also did learn a number of Shona songs. One thing that gave me joy was the positive response from the students. And just the fact that I'm contributing something to respons future responsible citizens of Zimbabwe. I think I could even uh, sing the whole mass in Shona just because of the sharing that we did with the people of God. And they also helped me learn some songs that, as of now, I'm trying to, I'm, 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 I'm teaching my brothers here in the novitiate. I would say the mission is the kind of the light to the place, especially that that is where uh, there's a good secondary school, I would put it like that. There is uh, the big hospital there, so people always come there to uh, get redeemed from all the challenges they might be facing in uh, these small areas. The experiment is very useful because it exposes uh, someone in formation to the constraints that uh, are found in ministry. So being given a, a subject that I've never taught before kind of um, helped me to, 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 to measure how available I am as a, as a young Jesuit, how available I am to missions how available I am to everything that comes my way. And also just as I've said in the first place, realizing my pastoral abilities, not limiting myself to, to anything. I think I love teaching. And it's from the experiment that I have noticed this. And also it gave me an opportunity to work on uh, the virtues of patience, uh, the virtues of generosity, and uh, acting against my passions or what I, would, what I like for the service of others. Thank you.